Have you ever seen those real estate drone photos that have those lot lines drawn around them and wonder how those lot lines are created? In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how that's done using Photoshop with no experience required. And we'll do three variations that look like this, this, and this. So let's hop into Photoshop. We'll just grab our polygonal tool, polygonal, polygonal, and uh, we're gonna click and outline the entire property. And then from here, we're just going to right click and click on stroke. And then sometimes you have to play with this depending on the uh, size of the image, how wide you want your stroke to be. Um, I usually change my color to red and then I'll change my stroke to, let's say 30 and see what that looks like. And I think that looks good. And so what I would normally do is, depending on which direction I was gonna head with the image for the client, I would do one of the three options. I probably wouldn't do all three and deliver them to a client. So if I was delivering just one of these, I would just save this as a copy. This is something that I like to do for the client so that they can have both the original and a copy of it. This is my drone1.jpg, that's the original. And I'll just save this as a dot one or something like that. Now I have both the original copy and the edited copy with a lot line. The second way that I like to do it is to drop the brightness of the surrounding area. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Command Shift I, and if you're on Windows, it'd be Control Shift I. And what that ends up doing is it, is it reverses the selection. So now we are, instead of selecting everything inside, we've now selected everything outside. So then we're gonna go to our adjustment layers. Um, if you don't see this up here, you can go to Window, Adjustments. I'm just gonna add a Brightness and Contrast adjustment layer. And then I'm going to reduce the brightness to whatever you like. You can reduce it that way. You can reduce it all the way if you want. It's just whatever it, to your taste. Another thing that you can do with this too is if you want to even make it even more impactful, you can make the surrounding area black and white by adding another adjustment layer and add a hue and saturation. And uh, you can reduce the saturation all the way. And then what you can do is take the adjustment layer that you have here, the mask, excuse me, that you have here, and hold down Option or Alt and click and drag it onto this one. And so now it's only replacing, it's, it's using the same mask. So it's only affecting the area that we've selected. If you wanna see what that looks like, if you wanted to do something like this for a potential job where you have a black and white of just the surrounding area, but not, you know, your brightness lowered, you can do that as well. The last one that I'll show you is how to make a blurred outline which is I'm going to still do the same thing where I have the inverse selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command J or control J. And that just made a duplicate layer of what I selected. So if we were just to actually hold down option or alt and click on that, we can see that this layer right here is just the surrounding area. Um, and then what we'll do is we will add a blur to it. So filter, and we'll go to blur and Gaussian blur. And yeah, it's just to taste. So if you wanna do it like seven or 10% or whatever. And that is how you do that. Thanks for watching guys.